If it costs $50 trillion, as some of your colleagues have testified, to become carbon neutral by 2050, how much is that going to lower world temperatures? So every country around the world needs to get its act together. Our emissions are about 13% of global emissions. Yeah, but if you could answer my question, if we spend $50 trillion to become carbon neutral in the United States of America by 2050, you're the Deputy Secretary of Energy. Give me your estimate of how much that is going to reduce world temperatures. So, so first of all, it's a net cost. Um, it's what uh, benefits we're having from getting our act together and reducing all of those climate benefits. We're seeing. Let me ask again. Maybe I'm being. Right now. Maybe I'm not being clear. If we spent fifty trillion dollars to become carbon neutral by two thousand and fifty in the United States of America, how much is that going to reduce world temperatures? This is a global problem, so we need to reduce our emissions, and we need to do everything we can. How much, if we do our part, is it going to reduce? So world we're temperatures? For, we're thirteen percent of global emissions. You don't know, do you? So we're thirteen percent of. If global you know, why won't you we, tell me? If we went to zero, that would be thirteen percent. You don't know, do you? You just want us to spend fifty trillion dollars, and you don't have the slightest idea whether it's going to reduce world temperatures. You're the Deputy Secretary of the Department of Energy and you're advocating we spend trillions of dollars to seek carbon neutrality and you can't, and this isn't your money or my money, it's taxpayer money, and you can't tell me how much it's going to lower world temperatures?